Hi guys, got a request from Riley Elwood to make a rubber band powered car from a milk bottle. I assume he means these plastic milk bottles. This is one from my local supermarket. They've actually changed the shape recently and knocked two of the corners off for some reason. I suppose it's so it stores better in your uh, fridge. Anyway, that will still do for the body or the chassis. All I need to do is poke a couple of holes through for the axles. Uh, attach the rubber band to the front here somewhere. I'll cut the bottom out so that we can get inside and attach the rubber band to the axle. And that will be it. I'll use these barbecue skewers and CDs that I've used on other cars already. Save a bit of time. But I'll put a link in my video description to the help file that shows you how to put the bottle tops on the CDs to make the hubs to make these wheels. So, I need to put some holes through. I'll just use this piece of metal so that I can get the holes at the same height. both sides of the bottle because it's that irregular shape I can't work can't work from the corners because they're not there so we've got a seam going round so we can use that as a reference point and then we want to make a hole let's go around a little bit further front here somewhere. If I mark that there, I can use the same mark there and hopefully the car will go straight. So we need to make some holes in there. If you've got a sharp pointy stick, you can just poke a hole through. Right, those holes will be a bit small for the barbecue skewers. They're a bit tight, so we need to make that bigger. So you need something that's a bit bigger than the, your barbecue skewer. I got this is a chopstick. So I can just widen that hole up a little bit. hole in the back. Now I'm going to use a sharp knife for that and a pair of scissors. Start the hole with the sharp knife. So that's our basic car. You need to make sure you leave a little bit of a gap so the wheels run freely. You may even want to add some plastic beads or something between the wheels and the body to make sure they stay apart. Poke a hole straight through here so we can put a, another bit of barbecue skewer through to hold the rubber band. Just 
join them together. It's two joined together already now. It's another bit of barbecue skewer. So I can poke that down through there. hold it at the front. The only problem is getting it to drop through so you can grab the rubber band. I'm going to cut a big area off the back here so it's easier to get to the back axle. So I'll just pull those off again. make life a bit easier. So I can reach straight inside, get the rubber band. Wrap it over itself and it holds itself in place. Didn't demonstrate that very well. Go. So that's holding itself in place. Test run time. So reach inside, get hold of the rubber band, wrap it round itself over the back axle. and let it go. Success! We'll do that again and this time I'll chase it. So, if you're ready, here we go. Success! So you've even got some left wrap round it so it can go much further. So quick summary. What have we got? We've got a plastic milk bottle, four CDs, eight plastic bottle tops, two barbecue skewers, oh, and another little bit of barbecue skewer, and some rubber bands. And that's our car. And it does the five meters of my kitchen easily. The important thing to remember when you poke the holes through for the axles to go through, make sure that they're nice loose fit. Make them bigger than the axle. If they're tight the car won't work. They've got to be nice and loose. But there we go. Rubber band powered plastic milk bottle car.